Welcome to this week's Pioneer Vision Women's Lacrosse Report, and we're here with Women's Lacrosse Assistant Coach Julia Steyer. And Julia, let's talk about uh, this week uh, we're coming up. You have one game, a big game against Quinnipiac on Friday, but last week, one and one, tough loss in overtime to Robert Morris, but a real bounce-back effort on Sunday against St. Francis of Pennsylvania. What you, you might say might have been the most complete game the Pioneers have played all season. Uh, talk about your team's performance. Uh, maybe Sunday being a little bit, you know, Friday being a little bit of a wake-up call and really coming back strong in Sunday's win. You know, Robert Morris is an excellent team this year, and so St. Francis. And it was really tough um, going into Robert Morris because I don't think our team was as focused as they ought to be. And uh, when it came out that they, they beat us in overtime, our team was fired up and ready to go against St. Francis. And it was really um, a no holds bar kind of game. And uh, the Saturday before St. Francis, we had um, a really competitive practice, and I think it really added fuel to it yeah. and really um, our team came out on Sunday and their goal was to have a complete 60 minutes that day and um, our offense was you know high flying putting in um, a lot of our plays and executing them very well and our defense was very ferocious very aggressive so it was good stuff that came out of that game. Yeah, no question. I would agree completely. And you had some really good performances, and maybe what one you might call breakout performances over the weekend from uh, freshman Kelsey Russo, who was the NEC Rookie of the Week, and then uh, uh, sophomore um, uh, Megan Pepe, who really was passing the ball really well, had I think eight assists over the weekend, were both career high numbers. It just seemed like the offense all of a sudden found itself this this past weekend. Is is that how the coaches saw it as well? Absolutely. Um, we've been expecting a lot out of Russo, and I think she just really needed that uh, that confidence going in. And right now, um, she's building off of it. She's really fired up, especially um, for the upcoming conference games. And Emily is just amazing. At practice, she goes hard every single day, and we expect a lot out of her right now. I mean, she's really fueling up the offense. She's almost like the quarterback. Yeah, absolutely. And let's talk a little bit about uh, uh, as now conference play takes its real, you know, the, the stronghold, the foothold. You guys play Quinnipiac. It's the only game this week. It seems that every time Sacred Heart and Quinnipiac play, something big is on the line. It's been you know three straight times for NEC championships. Every regular season game seems to matter at the end of the year when it comes down to standings. You'll face them here early on in the in the NEC schedule. Uh, where's the team at right now? Where's the team's head at? I'm sure the seniors know uh, or, or know about the rivalry, but some of the younger players, this will be their first chance at it. What can you expect tomorrow? Well, the upperclassmen are really taking um, hold of this team right now, and especially for Quinnipiac, they've been all week, you know, getting ready for the game. And Quinnipiac is an excellent team. I think they're the top team right now in the conference. And so it's with the, you know, the setback with Robert Morris, our team does have um, a lot to prove right now, and it's really the conference is so equal, and it's anyone's game at this point. So hopefully, you know, the underclassmen will understand the importance of this game, and they'll put their best foot forward tomorrow. Okay, Coach. Well, best of luck tomorrow. Best of luck the rest of the year. I'm sure we'll talk to you again. Excellent. Have a good one. All right. Again, the Pioneers will be at Quinnipiac on Friday afternoon at 3 p.m. On the Pioneer Vision Weekly Lacrosse Report, I'm here with freshman Kelsey Russo. And, Kelsey, congratulations. You were the NEC Rookie of the Week for this past week. Uh, you guys went 1-1 one and one last weekend. You lost to Robert Morris but came back with a big performance on Sunday to beat St. Francis. And congratulations, first of all. But t talk about your weekend and, um, you know, the success you had. You had six goals. You were five for eight on uh, eight-meter attempts and did a great job in the draw circle. So talk about your, your performance over the weekend and the teams as well. Um, I think, like, once we came into conference, we were all just, like, ready to play. Even though we lost um, the Friday game, we came out hard on Sunday and ready to win, and that's what we did. And do you, do you, did, do you think maybe Friday was a bit of a, an eye-opener or a wake-up call for the team in any ways? Because it seemed like the performance from Friday to Sunday, uh, you guys were so much more tighter on offense. You got after it right away. Was it just, you know, one of those things where you, you, you lost Friday and then it maybe kind of brought the team even a little bit closer? Yeah, definitely. Like, after our loss on Friday, we were, I guess, like, we played hard, but not necessarily together. And then on Saturday, we had, like, an act, like it was a really fun practice, and we worked really hard and then came out to play on Sunday. Let's talk about a little bit about your game. Uh, we talked about, uh, uh, yeah, I think you had eight draw controls on the week. There draws uh, uh, in the draw circle. You take, you primarily take the draws for the Pioneers. Uh, can you share any secrets you have or what the success of late has been? And, and without giving away too much, for what is uh, what makes uh, uh, taking a draw uh, something that you, you excel at, I guess? Um, I guess you just have to, like,
do your own thing unless, like, set up your own way until you're getting beat. And then, like, you have to take different, like, I guess, like, approaches to the draw and then just fight for the ball on the ground. Okay. And, again, uh, I said, uh, as I noted before, you're, you're five for eight on eight meter attempts. And I noticed early in the season you kind of had a move where you take one step and let fire. You probably have the hardest, one of the hardest shots on the team. But now it seems like you've kind of mixed it up and teams are probably a little bit off balance and not knowing what to expect from you when you're in that situation. Is that how you see it? Yeah, like when I'm on the eight meter, I'll hear people be, like say like watch the rip. So then like that's why I had to like change it up and like run in and that's why I got my eight meters. Okay, let's talk about this week. You guys are going to have, you have one game this week. You're going to Quinnipiac tomorrow afternoon on Friday. Uh, as a freshman, this will be your first game against Quinnipiac, but as you probably know, a lot of history between these two teams. It seems like every time they play, something's on the line, whether it be a championship or, or seeding in a tournament. Uh, are you excited? What do you expect? Uh, is, do you think this is a big game at this point in the season, or, or is this uh, just another game kind of on the schedule? I mean, every game's a big game, so like, I'm definitely, like, we're all definitely waiting, like, to play tomorrow. And I know the upperclassmen are so, like, pumped, and they've been ready for this game since fall ball. And that just makes all the freshmen and newcomers, like, want to play because, like, they're, they they want to play so badly. All right, Kelsey. Well, good luck tomorrow. Good luck the rest of the season. I'm sure we'll talk to you again. Okay, thanks.